I can't believe we never thought of what to say we did for a living. Yeah. Which one of these guys will I have sex with at the reunion? Ooh, Casey Deegan! <laughs> Come on, now we're running out of time. I know. Why don't we say that we own our own company? Oh, good. Like what? Like, what if we invented something? Like what? Well, okay, I, I think it should be like something that, that everybody has heard about, but, but nobody really knows who invented it. <gasps> oh my god, I've got it! Post-its! Everybody knows what post-its are. Yeah. They're the little yellow things with the stick them on the back, right? Oh. Okay, we're, we're working in this advertising agency after college. Good oh, college, good one. Yeah. And we have, like, this big, like, presentation to make to, like, a client. <laughs> so, so, so we're, like, brainstorming, and all of a sudden, we're out of paper clips. Good. And so, okay, so then I, I, like, okay, I say, I say, okay, wouldn't it be great if there was, like, this, like, stick em on the back of this paper? So, like, if it would just, if I laid it on top of that other paper, it would just stay, you know, like, without a paper clip? Yes! Ah, so then you've got like this grandfather, this uncle that like has like a like a like a paper company or a paper mill, and and he's like really into it, and the rest is history. Oh my God, it is perfect. Wow, don't you think? Well, yeah, but. Well, yeah, but what? I don't know. I mean, it just sounds like you invented post-its all by yourself. You know, I mean, what did I do? Well, it was your grandfather or uncle. Yeah. Okay, you know, so we could say that you were like the designer. Like, I thought of them, but you thought of making them yellow. <laughs> well, no, but it's like most of these people have like known us since elementary school. I just think that you're more believable as a designer rather than as an inventor. You know? Uh -huh. You're obviously pissed at me. No, come on, why should I be pissed at you? Just because now I know how you really feel about me. Oh my god, I knew this would happen. I mean, I try for once, to be honest with you, and it blows up in my face. God. You wanna be honest? Okay, good. Let's be honest. I let you have the ideas. What? Yeah, I let you have the idea, so you won't feel so bad that I'm cuter. You are not cuter, Michelle. I am so cuter. It's like common knowledge, Romy. Everybody thinks so. I'm the Mary, and you're the Rhoda. That's ridiculous. You're the Rhoda. You're the Jewish one. Oh, my God. I'm talking cuteness-wise, Romy, okay? And cuteness-wise, I'm the Mary. That's crazy! You have absolutely no proof that you're cuter. Oh, proof? You want proof? Okay, fine. Who lost their virginity first? Oh, big wow with your cousin Barry. I wouldn't brag about it. Okay. So who always gets asked to dance first when we go to clubs, huh? No wonder you couldn't find us boyfriends, Romy. Well, so what? You can't even get a job. I carry you, Michelle. Without me, you'd be lost. <gasps> that is such a lie. Oh, yeah? Well, let's just see. Let's split up and see what happens. What do you mean, split up? When we get to Tucson, we're going our own separate ways. Okay, good. Fine, I don't care. Fine! Fine. As of Tucson, we're finished. Well, drive fast. 